Gordon Ramsay has an estimated fortune of £120 million, but the chef's estranged father-in-law, Chris Hutchison, has been declared bankrupt in the latest stage of his dramatic fall from grace. Hutchison, who once ran Ramsay's restaurant empire, was the subject of a bankruptcy order last month, according to court documents. The 69-year-old was jailed last summer after he was convicted of hacking Ramsay's computer system following his sacking during an acrimonious public dispute. The intrusion was discovered by an expert employed by Ramsey, 51, whose television programs include Kitchen Nightmares. The court heard the computers at his businesses were hacked nearly 2,000 times. The chef's wife, Tanner, pleaded for her father not to be jailed before he was sentenced to six months in prison for the hacking, which was part of a bitter feud that saw him access information regarding his son-in-law's intellectual property rights. You can't say Lord Archer I S N T Absorious. My wife is still the most stunning woman I know, he told me this week. We were having lunch the other day with Jane Asher, even though Mary is 73. I looked down at her at the other end of the table and thought to myself, wow, she H A S N T had any help maintaining her looks. I can stand plastic surgery. The inflated lips look ridiculous. His sons, Adam Hutchison, 47, and Chris Hutchison Jr., 37 were handed four-month suspended sentences for conspiracy as chief executive of Ramsey's sprawling empire. Hutchison was once inseparable from his son-in-law. The hacking took place after they fell out in 2010 when, after 12 years as Ramsey's business partner, Hutchison was removed as a director and shareholder of Gordon Ramsey Holdings Limited. Ramsey accused him of stealing £1.4 million and a public spat ensued the following year. Lawyers for Ramsey won a high court ruling allowing Hutchison's computer to be searched. It later emerged that Hutchison, a married father of four, had concealed a second family. He had secretly fathered two more children by his mistress, who lived in a house a few miles from where he brought up Tanner and his three other children. Ramsey paid £2 million in a 2012 legal settlement to cut all professional ties, and the row led to Tanner severing contact with her family. Hutchison could not be reached for comment. BBC ties itself in not over presenter's name ambitious BBC editor Amal Rajan has issued a clarification to the corporation's pronunciation unit after Radio 4 presenter Justin Webb called him Ran Jan. Media editor Jan, 34, says he was sent a very pompous email by officials asking him sorry. But this is a very serious question. There are many people within the BBC who are very concerned they're actually pronouncing your name wrong. Speaking on a podcast, Rajan claims to a certain kind of man from a privileged background. My name really throws them. It's something about the Raj. It brings back these sort of imperial colonial memories. Justin Webb will introduce me on air by saying, We're now joined by our media editor Amal Rajan. So Ranjan, what do you think? The correct pronunciation is a mole Rajan. By election battles are end as gentlemanly as they used to be. According to the widow of Mark Bornham Carter, who won Torrington in Devon for the Liberals 60 years ago this month. Both of Mark's opponents were extremely agreeable, says Leslie Bornham Carter. Aunt to actress Helena Bornham Carter, the Conservative candidate and his wife even sent me a birthday card during the campaign. She adds Riley, I wonder if a by-election candidate would find the time to send a birthday greeting to an opponent now? Tell me where the freaks at.